everybody, welcome back to our Track Capital webinar series. I'm Janine, I'm here with David Barnett, CEO. Hello everybody. Today we're going to be talking about quality confidential information memorandums. So Dave, how are lenders these days? Very good question, Janine. Lenders are lending, but not as aggressively, but because they are pulling back, it's all the more important to have a quality conf confidential information memorandum, otherwise known as a SIM. It's really important. So because the lending markets are a little spotty, you really have to tell your story in a very powerful way. Are you finding that it's harder to secure a loan during this time? It really is. Um, lenders are kind of being very selective. They've pulled back. They're increasing their covenants. Um, many of the companies and their, and their borrowers have taken hits, so they're really tending to the needs of their existing portfolio companies. So they just don't have enough time to, they don't have as much time as they did before the crisis to be able to originate new business. And in addition, originating a loan right now is not an easy thing to do because you have to have such a, but you have to have such a holistic look at the company. You have to look at it, its long-term picture as well as its short-term month-to-month picture. So there's a lot of things that go into uh, reviewing and underwriting right now. So lenders are being selective and it's taking longer to get deals done. I could imagine. So what is a SIM and why is it important? Well, a SIM, a uh, Janine, <laughs> is sort of like a resume uh, mm -hmm. for a company out in the market where they're competing for capital. And it's sort of the calling card. And it's a document, a pro professionally prepared document that is usually 15 to 20 pages long that contains financial information, it contains qualitative information, it contains historical financials, projected financials, and really crystallizes why the company is a great company and has a very bright growth future. And it really opens up uh, the world of, of lending to the company. Without a SIM, it's very hard to make an impression, but with a very high quality SIM, you can not only, you can make an ordinary company appear very extraordinary, and it really opens up a lot of options. That's great. So it's all the good things in one place. Right, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So what is the most important aspect of presentation today? Um, I would say um, the deals we're working on in The Sims, we are doing a lot of very close monthly analysis of the, the profit and loss statement as well as the balance sheet and the cash flow statement. Mm -hmm. We're really um, working with our clients to establish a strong assumption um, fra framework for why the revenue will go back up again over a certain time period. So it's really uh, laying out the case for the rebound and how long the rebound will take and giving good grounded assumptions to get a lender bought into the fact that the rebound will indeed take place. Um, so that's really what we're, we're really monthly eyeing a lot of our SIMs. Uh, we're focusing on the length of the transition period for the rebound. I'd say most importantly though, um, we're really focusing on what did management do during the crisis? How did they react? What were those things? Because this is the ultimate uh, test of a company, the crisis. Mm -hmm. And lenders always like to look at sort of extreme downside cases. So when you have, you know, half your customers go away or your revenue dries up, what did the management team do? Did they do nothing? In which case, they didn't adjust to the new environment and you may not want to make a loan to them. But if they really took action and they came up with a good plan and they've implemented the plan and there's some short-term evidence of the plan working, then a lender is going to be really interested in that management team. So you want those resilient businesses. You want the resilient <laughs> businesses and you want management teams that have grit and are really into the weeds of how they're doing it. You don't want, you know, big thinking, highfalutin people during a crisis. You want mm -hmm. uh, people that are tacticians and are actually making it happen. Makes sense to me. So are you finding that these decisions are more subjective or objective during these times? So I think banks are looking at things very objectively in terms of what were the historicals and what are the projected on a monthly basis. But I also think, you know, back to what I just said to uh, said on the management reaction side, I think they're very much looking at the quality of the management as measured by the reaction, the speed of the reaction, the magnitude of the reaction, um, innovation during the crisis, what were they able to do differently? 
any new processes and procedures that they were able to implement. So I think there's a great case to be made that if you've made a lot of good moves through this crisis, mm -hmm. that management is very, it's a very important part of the lender evaluating the quality of management. So I think all these things are great components of a, of a confidential information memorandum. And I think it's the absolute key currency if you're out there in the lending markets right now. All right, well, thank you for all that advice. Um, <laughs> so that's all we have for today with our webinar series, and we hope that you'll tune back in soon. Thank you, everyone. Take care.